This tutorial, I'm going to go over assignment number 48. Tomorrow's test is going to be based on this assignment. The topic is attic machine, or sometimes we call it elevator. Let's just start with a, a question, and that is, you are in uh, elevator, is standing on a scale, right? An elevator can do five different things. It can move up with constant velocity, it can move down with constant velocity, it can move up with constant acceleration, it can move down with constant acceleration, or even it can free fall. Now, if you feel lighter, okay, out of these five options, which one is elevator doing? Of course, elevator is moving downward with constant acceleration. Let's just start with a simple demo. Can I transfer force by pulling the rope? Yes. Can I transfer force by pushing the rope? No, I cannot. You cannot transfer force by pushing a rope. You can only transfer force by pulling a rope. Okay, and that is called tension force. The force exerted by rope, and that is a tension force. Let's start with a simple pulley. Uh, let's put it up. In this case, you have M1 and M2. M1 is equal to M2. If that is the case, then net force would be zero. If net force is zero, acceleration is zero. If acceleration is zero, then velocity is zero. And if the velocity is zero, then this is neutral fast. Well, let's, let's put it that way. Acceleration is zero. Then this is little fast law. Uh, okay, uh, and in this case, the change in momentum is also zero. Momentum is also zero. Everything is zero in this case. Okay, now let's consider uh, a different scenario. Uh, you have a pulley. You have a rope. You have a mass. Let's call mass one. You have a mass. Let's call mass two. Mass 1 is 1,000 kilogram. Mass 2 is 1,150 kilogram. Okay. What is going on over here? I have to show the acceleration. And that is acceleration is this way. And acceleration, let's say acceleration A. Acceleration 1. And acceleration 2 is this way. What you noticing over here is just one body, just one body hanging on a rope. What does that mean? Acceleration one is equal to acceleration two. Okay, and you also see a tension force. The tension force, uh, the tension force is always pulling force. It's always pulling force. So this is FT1, this is FT2. And notice that FT1 is also equal to FT2. Okay, now uh, our goal is to find the acceleration. And in New York City, uh, the acceleration must be less than one for the elevator to be in service. If it is more than one meter per second is squared, then what do you do? you shut down the elevator. Here, what are you going to do? We're going to take care of mass 1, we're going to take care of mass 2. Mass 1, two forces acting on it. We're going to call M1G, and we're going to call FT1. Notice that FT1 has to be bigger than M1G. Why is that? Because there is a net force. At upward direction. How do you know? Because acceleration is upward direction. Okay, so you can always write Newton's second law F equal ma. That's how you can study your conversation. Uh, let's do it over here so that it's going to be more visible. F equal ma. At what direction? Y direction? M1. You don't want to say A1. You could, but you don't because A1 is equal to A2. What are the forces 
at the y direction. Well, you have ft1 minus m1z. Many of you in the classroom uh, ask me uh, whether you want to use negative 9.8 or positive 9.8. If you write negative over here, you're going to write positive 9.8. If you write positive 9.8, positive M1G, then you're going to write negative 9.8. Of course, you're going to write negative over here. Why is that? That's how we add the forces. And we also keep our mind that we only uh, allow to negative once, not twice. Because if you put negative, and then this is already negative 9.8, so this becomes 9.8. You have to use 9.8, not negative 9.8 at the end. So FT1 is this, that's it. Okay, now let's come over here. Um, let's draw M2. You have M2D, and you have FT2. Notice that Ft M2g is bigger than Ft2. So again, you want to do Newton's second law, Fy is equal to Ma. Lots of mistakes you're noticing over here, especially putting negative over here. How do I know this is negative? Acceleration is negative. I am going to put M2a. Why is that? Because we are talking about M2. All the forces acting at the y direction are what? F T2 minus M2G is equal to minus M2A. Okay. How many equations do we have? We have only two equations, not four. One equations and two equations. So how many, what is our goal? Find the acceleration. How many variables do we have? Only two. Why is that? Because our variables is only Ft and acceleration, that's it. When you have two variables, what do you use? You use system of equation. How do you use it? Well, you want to write Ft1, let's write it down, Ft1. I'm writing this one, Ft1 minus M1g is equal to M1a. Then I'm going to write this one, Ft2 minus M2G is equal to M2A. Okay, good. I forgot something that is negative. So make sure that you uh, double check to make sure that all symbols are right. Cancel. So what do you have? M2G minus M1G is equal to what? M2A plus M1A. G factor out, M2 minus M1, A factor out, M2 plus M1. So acceleration is G big M, okay, always big M, M2 is bigger, big M minus small M over, doesn't matter, uh, M2 plus M1. So acceleration is 9.8, M big M is uh, 1150 minus 1000, 2150. So acceleration is 9.8 times 150 divided by 2150. So acceleration is 0.68 uh, meter per second squared. Now we want to find the tension. So Ft1 is equal to M1g plus M2, M1a. So Ft1 is equal to M1 G plus A. Ft1 is equal to M1 is 1000. G is 9.8. This is 0.68. All right. So what do you get? Ft1 is approximately 10,500. Ft2 is M2G minus M2A. Ft2 is equal to M2 G minus A. Ft2 is equal to what? 1150, 9.8 minus 0.68. Ft2 is equal to 1000, uh, 10,500. 
Okay, now let's go to the Junal problem. We want to show the five different experiences you experience uh, in the elevator if we change the scenario. Uh, okay, so you are in the elevator. You are in the you are in the elevator. Elevator has a scale. You are standing on the scale. If you do a scale, you're standing on the scale, what uh, uh, the scale will read? You probably think the scale will read FG. No, it, it doesn't. It never. The scale read FN. Okay? It does. So that, let's say, uh, mass is 1, 000, uh, 100 kilogram. So weight would be, let's use negative 10 meter per second squared. That's the weight instead of 9.8, negative 9.8. So weight is 1,000 Newton. Okay, so let's uh, see uh, you can, how many different scenarios you can go through if you are in the elevator. This is scenario. One, two meter per second. Scenario two, negative two meter per second. Scenario three, two meter per second is squared. Scenario four, negative two meter per second is squared. Scenario five, negative 10 meter per second is squared. Good. Here, we're gonna do your mass. Here, we're gonna do your normal force. Elevator read normal force. Let's do it. And your normal force. And your experience. And uh, remember, if uh, we're going to create the equation, this is what mg, and this is what fn. Two forces acting on here. Okay, so what are they? F y is equal to ma. So fn minus mg is equal to ma. Fn is mg plus a. So this is what elevator reads, M, G plus A. Okay. All right. This scenario is, this scenario is elevator moving with constant velocity, moving up. Elevator moving down with constant velocity. Elevator is moving up with constant acceleration. Elevator moving down with constant acceleration. This is elevator is in free fall. Uh, someone cut that off. Mess. Mass the same, mass never changes. What would be saying same thing because you are not changing the location and uh, and uh, and what is just net force? What is just net force? Okay, not net force. What is just uh, what is just mg? Okay. Sometimes it is not force. In this case, it is not force. Okay. Uh, in this case, not force is zero. So weight is uh, the force acting uh, on m times g. Oh, okay. So let's write it. Mg. What is mg? Okay. Uh, so weight would be uh, one thousand, negative one thousand. Oh, I put negative there. So negative one thousand. Negative 1,000. Where would it be what? Negative uh, 1,000. Negative 1,000. Negative 1,000. However, uh, the normal force would not be the same. Normal force, this one is 1,000. This one is 1,000. This one is 1,200. This one is 800. And this one is 0. Uh, why this one is zero? Let's see. Fn is equal to m g plus a. m is hundred. g is uh, ten. This is negative ten. Okay. Now here you feel same. You experience same as if you're standing on the scale at home. 
We are saying because elevator is not accelerating. Here you feel what? Uh, heavy. Here you feel lighter. Here you feel weightless. Why you feel heavier? Because 200 apparent weight gain. We're gonna, we call it apparent weight gain. Two hundred apparent weight loss. Okay, and here apparent weight loss is one thousand. That's why you feel weightless. Okay, now why is scale rate zero? Because if someone cut the rope, elevator is falling, scale is falling, you are falling. So there is no contact between the scale, yeah. F is a contact force. There is no contact, okay? Contact between what? The scale and the surface. Why is that? Because surface is falling. And why there is no contact between surface and, uh, and you? Because you are falling and the surface is the, the scale, the scale is falling and the elevator is falling. 